Hello. Today we see a new concept and the application of time speed distance. This is again the same with what we have learned in our previous video of the application of speed average. In the question, the two data are the same, 30 km, 10 m, 40 km, 9 m, what would be our speed if you have to reach at 9, 10? So we do not solve this by making equation, we can. Now find the gap between 9 and 9, 10 is nothing but 10 minute. We just find the gap from the given speed system, 50 minute and the ratio of 50 and 10 is nothing but 5 is to 1. So these two are my gap ratio. Okay. Now what is the 30 reciprocal of 30 is 1 by 30. Reciprocal of 40 is 1 by 40. So you just find the gap than the reciprocal and you have the answer. Answer is what? 5 plus 1 gap ratio summation upon cross multiplication that is 5 into 1 by 40 plus 1 upon 30. Solve this, you will get the answer. You need to find the gap ratio, cross multiply, summation of gap and the reverse of the cross multiply. That is your speed at which you will reach at 9 10. I hope this is as easy as the previous one. Try to solve the same question with different data and please take your pen paper and solve with me. Okay. If our speed is 40 km per hour, we reach it at 12 noon. If our speed is 50 km per hour, we reach it at 10 in morning. What would be our speed if we want to reach 10 50 morning? First find the gap. Gap is 50 minute. Fine. Here gap is 70 minute. Gap ratio is 7 is to 5. Find the gap ratio that is nothing but 7 is to 5. Reverse of 1 by 50, 1 by 40, and your answer for the 10 50 is add the gap 7 plus 5 but reciprocal with the 7 by 50 plus reciprocal is 5 by 40 and solve this, you have your answer. That's simple. Okay. I hope it is clear to you. You can use these questions anyway. Okay. Thanks. If you want to see why I am doing this and the concept behind this, you can continue. Otherwise, you can close the window. Okay. Thanks for continuing with me. First, we see what concept I am going to use. There are the many concepts behind this application. We have a question, the first one. I am going to use two concepts here. First, if you have a distance is constant, in this all the distance are the constants, then speed is inversely proportional to time or the time is inversely proportional to the speed. If we have to find the speed, just reciprocal the time. If we have to find the time, just reciprocal it the speed and I am going to use a coordinate geometry funda that is the MPC. If you have an x coordinate take x1, x2 is the coordinate, this coordinate is x, I am not using the y coordinate to make it simple. If this ratio is m is to n, then what is the coordinate of this one? We multiply mx2 with ratio and plus nx1 upon m plus n. So I am going to use these two concepts, speed reciprocal time, time reciprocal speed and the coordinate geometry funda, that is point theorem. Okay. Now check, since we have question in time, we have to find the question in time and answer should be in a speed. So our method should be since it is time, we have to change our given speed into time frame then find answer in time frame and 
change into speed. What I am doing? The speed change into time frame because question is in the time frame, answer in the time frame, and change answer into speed frame. Okay. So what we have to do? One thirty kilometer per hour for a given speed. I can consider that is one thirty with time. For the forty, we have one forty eight or with the time. Okay. So one forty and one thirty is my time reciprocal of the speed. Can you see? Okay. For this, I am taking one thirty eight percent of the world. For this, I am taking one fortieth portion of the work. That is the time frame, and we want a time where we can complete our work. So this is the complete time gap, ten to nine. What is the gap here between these two data? This is fifty minute gap, and this is ten minute gap. That is nothing but five is to one. So can I say the ratio between these two time and the required time is the five is to one? By the coordinate geometry funda, multiply five by this, one by this, and add. Can I say this is nothing but what? Five by forty plus one by thirty upon five plus one. So we find a particular time because these all are the one upon this period is a time frame. Answer in that time frame. Answer is what? Five forty plus one thirty upon five plus six. And please note it down. It is a time frame, and we want answer in a speed. So just reverse time frame into speed is we have to reverse the time. So our answer would be five plus six upon five by forty plus one by thirty. So this is my answer. But what we are doing is first find the gap ratio, cross multiply the gap ratio with the speed reciprocal, add the gap and add the speed reciprocals. That is the answer. Okay. So I am generating a formula for this question. Okay, I am writing a question. Only the data. Try to solve and try to solve before me. That could be an achievement for me, not for you. If you are able to solve this question before me, that's an really an achievement for me. You speed is twenty kilometer per hour. You are reaching at ten in the morning. Okay, your speed is forty kilometer per hour. We are reaching at nine in the morning. What should be your speed if you have to reach nine twenty? Take nine twenty in the morning. Question is twenty ten nine forty. If you have to reach nine twenty, what should be your speed? Okay, now we start. That is forty twenty. Two is to one, so answer should be two plus three, three, and one by forty is two by forty plus one by twenty. That is, and this is your answer. Three upon one by ten. That is nothing but thirty kilometer per hour. I hope you have done before me. Okay. For any doubt, you can ping me on Facebook or write. in the comment box of this video thank you